to Christina's self-exploration presentation. Um, so this is where I will be discussing my roles um, in life and how I came about this therapeutic piece. Um, so the main roles that I decided to really focus on um, were my main identities and um, that is me, Christina, um, and I am a clinician, um, I'm a student, and I'm also someone, you know, I like to call myself a lifetime student and uh, a global citizen is kind of like how I like to go about it. Um, but even though I play these roles, I felt like focusing on my identity um, was really important to kind of find my place in these roles. So I'll start walking through the process of how I came about um, the piece. And so I first wanted to pick um, a theme or a, a representing group that kind of, you know, demonstrates continuity and diversity at the same time. So that is also why I chose flowers and um, first of all, the medium that I decided to choose, there were two mediums and I chose watercolor and I also chose oil pastels. And the reason for that is because as a person, um, I find myself that I overthink a lot and oil, pastel, and watercolor gives, kind of provides me the space to really practice letting go. Um, as even starting out, trying to figure out where to start this, I found myself really struggling to even just get to the start because I was finding it difficult to <laughs> come to the fact that maybe I can't draw this or maybe I can't do that and that is also something I really had to um, face while starting it because I was already recognizing all of this inner critic inner roommate stuff that was coming up um, very self-defeating thoughts and so um, using mediums that allow me to blend easily if I happen to make a mistake or you know use a color or draw something or make a mark that I didn't like it's something that I can easily blend out or work with and so um, and it's actually really therapeutic for me just to like get all nitty-gritty into the artwork and so once I started going as you can tell I just kind of went with it um, it started out a little slow a little structured with a lotus flower you can tell with this hibiscus I just kind of went in for the petals just kind of dab with no judgment with myself process of even 
going about creating, like going with the motion of painting, um, sketching it out, I guess with watercolor, um, it was quite representative of my internal dialogue as well. Starting out, I was really struggling on where do I start? How do I go about it? And even with the first flower, you can tell I was really trying to focus on the petals and making it look perfect. But as the piece went on, um, I, as I was kind of like going with the textures and being a little bit more um, vulnerable with the movement, I was also being vulnerable about how I kind of went about my thoughts as well. So the more I got into the movement of the painting, for example, the less judgmental I was being with myself. So the main concepts that I really wanted to convey um, and my identity slash roles were um, primarily my cultural identity and how that has really set the foundation of how I go about in society. Um, the California poppies are pretty important. Um, born and raised in California, uh, and you know, having this bicultural identity, it I really grew up thinking, is there this or that? What am I? Am I Asian? Am I American? Um, I want to say that I am very fortunate where I was in a part of a state or a part of the country where we were able to practice our culture openly. So I might not have struggled as some other individuals have um, and so the hibiscus flowers to the right or the right of me in the video are uh, they are the korean national flower and they actually they're actually called the eternity blossom that never fades um, and it represents adversity and resilience uh, and due to the due to the you know the japanese colonization we you know, as Koreans, the nation went through a split, uh, more colonization, and, you know, right now the, the nation is still kind of processing a, a, a grief and loss of half of, you know, the families being split, right? So, um, I think I'm, I feel very proud to be a Korean in that sense where you know we're still kind of thriving through and then the very left will be the lotus flowers where it represents rebirth and purity and that really represents the struggles that I went through as a young adult and how I had to really go deep within myself and go on my own mental health journey and you know, start therapy um, it, that really was the pivotal point for me to kind of go in a new direction in my life. And so as a therapist in the mental health field, I feel like these themes are quite aligned with how I want to practice um, in treatment. You know, I want clients to be able to understand that you don't have to, you know, live a certain way for your whole life or you don't have to you know one concept is not always going to be absolute black or white you can you know and feelings are fluid and you are seen you are valid you are resilient and you matter so for me the themes just kind of overlap quite nicely
concepts I really wanted to explore with this. Um, one of them will be art involving the whole person. Um, just because I really do think that um, a lot of the clients will come in looking for a solution um, to whatever that they're struggling with, which is totally fine. Um, but a lot of the times when it's so solutions focused, I feel like they miss a whole other part of the picture and it's only getting a fraction of the portrait or the image or whatever it is that they want to, you know, resolve. And the population that I mainly want to work with in the future will be elderly Asian Americans, uh, specifically first generation Korean Americans. And with that, I do see a lot of trauma that is post-war, post-colonization, um, experiencing immigration and not having the resources to acculture, acculture appropriately, or some might even, some individuals might still be assimilating and so um but with a lot of immigrant families you're going to see individuals who focused on survival and that will usually involve a lack of tending to your emotional and mental needs and taking care of taking care of the heart and so for me i think this kind of did that for me and i truly experienced it firsthand and that's when I really had a light bulb moment that this is a very necessary intervention for those who kind of spent a lot of time using their head instead of their heart and so um that is definitely a really important concept for me to follow as a clinician. Exploring different mediums in one piece can be both liberating and also limiting um, to different populations. Uh, for example, populations that might have experienced a lot of shame or were taught that their feelings don't matter. Uh, for example, in East Asia, you have a lot of Confucianism going on where you put others before you. This might be beneficial in expressing themselves, um, their authentic selves. How um, a different medium might kind of represent different parts of themselves. Um, maybe, you know, using mediums that are easily blendable will teach them to also be more fluid and, um, and not as rigid in their thinking, especially if their thinking is something that, um, that is a barrier. But at the same time, a limitation could be for people that it might be too much freedom and it's, it might be a little a little bit too much of a liberal medium where it's doing everything and someone who is quite triggered by the lack of structure this might not be for them or it might trigger a traumatic memory where that represents a chaotic time in their lives so um, but this is definitely an appropriate intervention or way to go about um, connecting with or understanding the client's experiences. and enjoyed 
doing this project just because this was the, one of those kind of challenges that I needed to really push myself because um, I do find, I do know that I limit my feelings and I focus too much on the achievement aspect of things rather than putting in um, an authentic value to it. And so um, this was definitely quantified a lot differently for me and also was a teaching moment on how I need to practice more of what I preach to the clients. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.